and then on the scripts that we have attached to our cube there, our invisible one, um, we have quite a lot of coding, um, and this is for both throwing and picking up. So um, what we've got is the object's position, the object's rotation, and then the object that we've picked up, and then a variable that, choose, that says whether we can pick or not, whether it is picking, and then the uh, wh whether it should show on the GUI whether it should say pick, you can pick it up. Um, and then also the reference object, uh, which I'll explain in a second. So inside the start function, we've got a uh, we got our pick reference set to the reference object, which is inside there. Um, that's why we've got that one tagged as pick up ref. And then that's basically all we need to do with pick up ref. Um, and then our pick object is initially set to pick ref, so uh, it just kind of it's, it fixes a bug because it comes up with an error saying that there isn't anything chosen for the game object here. Um, so back down to function update, we've got a constant. Uh, it's constantly shooting a ray. So we've got a variable called ray check. You can call that whatever you want, um, and that is a ray that goes from the camera main. So that's why we've got to tag the camera as camera main. And then from the camera main screen point to the mouse position. So it fires from the camera through the mouse, which is always set to center because of our bit inside player move here. And then that will fire straight forward. So whatever we're pointing at, it will uh, pick up. And then it has a hit check variable, which um, it basically hit check is what's, what, the, what, the hit, what the ray has hit. Um, so straight after that, we got if... The physics ray cast, if the thing that it hit for the ray hit check is 10 units away or closer, um, and hit check dot collider dot game objects uh, with a small g dot tag equals equals um, pickup. So if it is the pickup tagged object, then on the GUI we need to turn it to true. And then when it's if it's not pickup, then it turns it to false. Um, and I'll just scroll down quickly to show you what that does. So down on the GUI, we've got function on GUI, which I've shown before. Um, we've got a label. Uh, this is just a this is constantly on. Um, so we've got a label which is an X, which is right in the center of the screen. And then um, if uh, GUI pick and can pick, so you haven't got an object that's picked up, and you can pick up an object. Um, and then the GUI pick is there. So if it's if if you're pointing at an object. Then it will come up with a label that says pick up and it comes up just underneath the X. Um, so you know that you can pick up that object. So if back up again, we've got to uh, there. If, if if the mouse button is pressed down, if mouse button zero is pressed, so if the left mouse button and can pick is true, because it doesn't have an exclamation mark there, um, then picking is the, the uh, variable of picking is turned to true. And then the same as before, we create array and if it's it's all the same, but I've just got a new variable there, just called ray and hit. And then if that is the case, and it's it's ten or less, and the other object is pick up, then we turn pick pick object the game object variable to whatever we hit. So hit collider game object. So the thing we've hit um, with the ray then becomes our target, um, and then that's rigid body. Uh, the gravity is removed. It's turned kinematic, so it can't move. Um, it's a collider is turned to a trigger, so it, so it doesn't kind of hit into things and stop us from moving. Um, and then its parent is the is our is the game object that our pick two game object. 